He has worn many hats and had many careers in his more than 75 years. Photographer, newspaper man, businessman, and mentor. And while many are looking at retirement, Stephen Beasley is still impacting his community as president of the Martin Luther King Foundation. But one thing has never changed through those years, his core value, leadership, charity, community, and his love and passion for family, FAMU, and the city of Tallahassee. There comes a time when a moral man can obey a law which his conscience tells him is unjust. I had the opportunity to meet Dr. Martin Luther King at Bethel Baptist Church. Matter of fact, he wouldn't know me if he was still living. I was very young. Dr. King was a genuine, 100% caring person, and he was a nonviolent person, in which I'm a great believer of nonviolence. And he was just the type of role model that anybody would be proud of. I want to thank Hope Community and all that you do for our community. <laughs> I feel giving back is very important because someone, when I was young, had to give back to me. And um, I was able to get involved with the Martin Luther King Foundation on the foundership level with Dr. Marvin Davies. At that time, he was working for uh, Governor Bob Graham. Steve Beasley, president of the MLK Foundation of Florida. Initially, it was an organization that tried to recognize the work and keep the dream alive for Martin Luther King. But one of the things we came up with is Martin Luther King would have wanted us to give back to the community. So some of the projects that came out of our foundation would be the Soul Santa Claus, which is over 30 years old that we bring Santa Claus in in the helicopter. And we have a toy for each kid. We want to thank the Leon County Commission for helping us with the toys and the City Commission and the Recreation Department that plays a big hand. Probably we couldn't do it without the City Recreation Department. I was a Boy Scout and one of the highlights of my experience in scouting was to attend a National Jamboree of Valley Forge, Pennsylvania back in 1957. The picture shows me and five other persons from Tallahassee. We were the first group of African Americans to go to a National Jamboree. And one of the most touching things that have ever happened to me is a candlelight ceremony in the arena with 52,000 young men holding a candle and singing the national anthem. And that was so touching. I still get goosebumps when I tell people about it. Matter of fact, uh, I'm kind of getting them now. From that experience, I'm trying to give back to scouting. And I would contribute a lot to me developing character and trying to be a clean cut young man. So I'm a member of the Boy Scouts Board of Directors here. I will be a scout forever. Thank you, Steve, and we're very proud to have you. I got in business when I was in my teens, and I always remember that the first time I went to Industrial Bank, this now Capital City Bank, and made a $300 loan on my signature at 16 years old, which was unheard of. Right now, that $300 would be worth probably $3,000 with inflation. Small businesses meant a lot to me because I've always wanted to be independent. And being in a small business, you don't make a lot of money, but you can say you're your own boss. I'm considered a FAMU baby. FAMU is the company and we grew up in a company town. My father was assistant football coach with Jake Gator and Big Bell back in 1938 when FAMU won its first national championship. And from that time, the family has been so involved in FAMU that during the years we were able to claim three Miss FAMUs in our family. 
My sister was Miss Famu in 1958. My granddaughter was Miss Famu in 92. And my daughter was Miss Famu High School in the 60s. And I had a sister that was Miss Junior, Eileen Kelly now. But Famu, I was the university photographer there. And that time I got exposed to a lot of national personalities. I was able to do the photography for the yearbook, the newspaper, and I, that's when I kind of got into a little business photography and photojournalism. And we were able to, during the bus boycotts, get contracts from uh, Johnson Publishing Company, which is Ebony and Jet Magazine. Being a freelance, uh, you didn't have to have the capital, you just needed to have the guts and the energy. Mahalia Jackson had a franchise restaurant uh, down on South Adams. That picture was taken there. He was Humphrey. I was able to fly around the country with him on his campaign when he ran. And we were able to even sell pictures to Life magazine. I don't think Life is ever used in our pictures, but they paid us for the file. I'm proud to say that I'm the founder of Capital Outlook newspaper, which has been in existence over 40 years. But I discovered that I was not a truly newspaper person, so I sold it. It's being published now by Reverend R.B. Holmes. Who do you have sitting next to you, and why is that so important to you? Well, Ray, uh, for some reason, and I got to be very close friends, um, uh, he would visit Tallahassee on some of his days off, and I would drive him over to the place he grew up, Greensville. We would spend two or three days in Greensville. He never forgot about where he came from. And a good friend of mine, Noble Cecil and John White, a state representative of Albany, Georgia, he was able to get the Georgia legislature to do Georgia On My Mind as the official song for Georgia. And we went up for the dedication of that song. Does family mean a lot to you? Family means everything to me. I got um, my training there from my parents. We had a family of four, two boys, two girls, and family came first. I'm considered by my wife of uh, 32 years, now deceased for 17 years, as a very good family man, and that was the biggest compliment she could have ever given to me. My wife, Dr. Nikki Beasley, she was one of the first hired black principals on the middle school level in Leon County. And she was a mother of my daughter and two wonderful grandchildren. The park was named after my wife. It's on Tram Road. It's the Beasley Nam Field. I would say the people make Tallahassee beautiful. The people that always want to give a helping hand. In 78 years I've been here, I don't regret one day of being here in Tallahassee, Leon County, and hope to be here a few more years. <laughs>